Hi, everybody. Hi to Kali Kai Kids. Hi to Tucker Kids. Hi to Cunningham Kids. Oh, sorry. Hi to Glover Kids. <laughs> and hi to Cunningham Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to make some coffee can art. You will need a coffee can, one that's empty and one that has a lid on it. Okay. It doesn't have to be metal, it can be a plastic one, but as long as it's um, uh, sort of this sort of tube can shape that's smooth, it'll work. Okay, and there needs to be a lid that seals it. Like this. So you want to make sure that you empty it of all coffee, rinse it out, dry it out, and then make sure the lid fits on tightly. So one coffee can. You'll need some paints. You can use acrylic or tempera, any colors that you have. You'll need some paper. It can be cardstock or regular white paper. Either is fine. You'll need a pair of scissors. And you also need to look around outside and gather some rocks, um, preferably small ones. These are extra small. These are the only ones that I had in my yard. Um, don't get big rocks. They won't work. So find rocks that aren't much bigger than this one. So this size and smaller. Okay. And you don't need very many. I think I probably have maybe eight in my little bag here. And that is it. Um, you can also do this with um, a family member. Um, uh, so what you want to do is, of course, like I just said, make sure the coffee can is nice and clean on the inside. Cut a piece of paper that will fit inside the can. So you want the paper to fit inside the can like this. And you want it to line the inside. Now my paper is still a little bit too big, so I'm going to have to trim it. So I want to be able to get the lid on top. Okay, try again. Okay, there it is on the inside. See? Then you want to put in the rocks that you found. So I'm going to put them all in. Then you want to pour some paint into the can, which is kind of the fun part of this. So I have some uh, turquoise glitter paint, and I'm going to put a few squirts of it in. Um, you don't want to go too heavy on the paint because it'll be too goopy and you won't be able to get the paper out afterwards. So I'll do some light pink. And do some... Looks like it says fluorescent yellow. And I don't think I'm going to put this black in. I'm going to put like, um, oh yeah, I guess I will put the black in. I was going to put blue, but I think the black would look kind of cool. Not too much though. Okay. So I'm going to show you the inside of the paint can, if it will show it on the camera. See, I did not put a whole bunch of paint in. Just a few squirts of each color that I chose. Okay. Then you're going to put the lid on. Make sure it's nice and tight. It's best to do this next part outside just in case the lid comes off. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera and I'm going to situate it on my deck because that's where I am outside. And I'm going to roll the can back and forth. So this is where having a family member do this with you would come in. So you can roll the can towards your family member and then it can roll it back towards you. And it is up to you how far apart you want to situate yourselves from each other. But I only have me. I don't have anyone to do this with. So I'm going to roll the can back and forth myself. So I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to put it down on the deck and lift up a little bit. Okay. 
So I'm going to roll it one way first. And then back. And you can roll it back and forth as many times as you want. There's no set amount of times, just whenever you feel like you're ready to open up the can and look at the art. Gonna open up the can, see what the artwork looks like. Move my clean paper out of the way. Okay. I'll hold it up. That's interesting, huh? Looks like a landscape kind of. And then, of course, the next one that I do, I'm going to try adding a little bit different colors. You can also change the rocks, too. I'm not going to change the rocks. It's just easier for me to show you the next one right away. And I know I'm going to have to trim the paper because the other piece was too big, too. So I'll do it real quick. So I'm just going to do this twice. Just two paintings for me. But you can do as many as you want, depending on how much paper you have. And, oh yeah, I was going to do some blue. This is the blue color that I have. And, I'm going to try some more of the pink. lid on nice and tight. That's what I wanted, lots of blue. Try to get that out. Hmm, interesting. Where's that? That's cool. So these are my two paintings. They came out pretty good. And strangely, they both look like landscapes. I don't know why that is. Probably because like this was the part of the paper that was down towards the bottom of the can. So that's where most of the paint went to. But I expect if I, if I rolled the can a lot longer than I did, um, more paint would end up up here. But yeah, you can experiment with the colors. You can experiment if you have like different kinds of paper or different colors of paper. So, um, yeah, I thought that this would be a cool project to do outside, definitely, because you don't want the cap to suddenly come off by accident, and then parents would be upset. So definitely do this outside. You can look for rocks outside. It's basically an outdoor kind of art project. So I hope this was interesting, and have fun with it, and I'll see